What is up my Roger Bagels and welcome to some Call of Duty Modern Warfare gameplay. So today guys I want to talk to you all about is the update that came out yesterday, patch 1.21. So before we get into it, I just want to say that I live stream weekly on Twitch, link down in the description below, where I play Warzone, Modern Warfare, Rainbow Six Siege, Minecraft, Valorant and many many more. So let's get into the video guys. So yesterday's update for PS4 players was 20 gigabytes and players on both PC and Xbox it was about a 30 gigabyte update and of course players who just have Warzone it could have easily been uh, smaller I don't really know because I don't just own Warzone itself and we'll just start with some of the changes that kind of happened so we'll start with Warzone for now where there were some changes however the main one is actually to the phones and the bunkers where certain phones you could actually go up to and actually ring them and they'd start beeping then something in morse code and then a russian voice and i kind of feel like the russian voice is kind of um kamarov i think his name is i think it is from the um from the campaign that you meet at the end where both Americans and Russians are actually working together for Vendan Verdansk and that actually just falls apart in season one you see that it, that just completely falls apart and there's also a little paragraph that says number stations redacted is protocol yellow activate redacted system redacted is inbound awaiting correct authorization so for anyone who is actually into the lore and easter eggs of warzone you'll know that this is on about the bunkers around the map so some people have actually found different color key cards and these go with the different bunkers now people have actually gone into these bunkers and i won't show any of the clips because of people opening the bunker because it wasn't me opening sadly but hopefully i will be doing that in a video somewhere down the line where it just shows me doing it like i said in a previous video this update will bring armor boxes to the game this is just the same as your munitions box but it's a uh, blue colored and this like i said before is going to be really 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 a big change to the whole game so just like the munitions box uh you'll have to throw it on the ground and go over to resupply it from from it to get your armor however i still don't know if it gives you the full eight armor packs or does it just give you the standard five if you have the armor bag or whatever it is that gives you eight i'm not really sure but i definitely want to say this is about six grand not the five grand that i thought it would be which is not too bad to be honest it's fairly good i think personally Moving to the gulag, the guns in the gulag have actually changed. For example, the guns are now that are now in the game are in the sections of SMGs and ARs. So what are these guns? Well, I listed them off or some of them off in the previous video, but these are actually them. The Kilo 141, AK-47, M13, SCAR, Ram 7, MP5, AUG or AUG, P90 and the Striker 45. So when you do get one of these weapons in the Gulag, it doesn't have any attachments on it. Now they've also updated the loot a little where you can get a legendary weapons, epic weapons that are already on in loot boxes. So for example, the Kilo is now a legendary, an epic AX50, a legendary MP7, the AUG is an epic and an epic fall which is pretty good they've also added back in the most wanted bounties that will work with the normal bounties in the game now which i don't know how i feel about this about the most wanted bounties because i really thought they were kind of they weren't great but they weren't bad at the same time they were like mediocre they're not as good as personally i would think that the bounties that are in the game now where you just pick it up it goes on a random person the person could be near you or could be fucking god knows where really far away and someone else could kill them and you get a percentage of the money which is pretty cool in my mind 
they've also changed the time on this bounty so instead of the typical five minutes it is now changed down to three minutes now the new change is to the final circle just like fortnite instead of closing all the way in now it actually closes to a certain size and then the circle starts to move so you'll have to move with the circle which is pretty good it can help you out if people have to run to you and the zone or the circle is actually moving kind of towards you or you'll still be in the circle every now and then that you just stay near it which is going to be a game changer personally i think now moving to the playlist we have typical playlists we have the quads trios solos and the blood money quads that i talked about in my previous video however looking at the playlists you don't actually see the classic battle royale mode or the whole playlist which i talked about in a previous video now this could be coming later in the week we're not really sure as of now like i stated in my previous video that the og ghost operator is actually coming to modern warfare and it's here it's in a bundle in the store where you get a skin blueprints charm melee uh finish a move a ghost quip calling card a spray and some something else i can't really remember what it was and in the multiplayer you'll see that there are gunfight blueprints back in the game and a new reinfected ground war where your kd and win loss are not affected we also have clean up on aisle 9 which i said in a previous video was going to be basically a 2v2 kind of thing but it's actually 3v3 with respawn well respawn enabled but you have other uh, game modes which i say it or stayed not slayed stayed in a previous in my previous video also we have hard hat 24 7 which is basically the remake to the map other than that doors are the only things that added they've kind of changed the surfaces and the lighting other than that it's it's the same usual old school hard hit and hard hat also the renetti got a nerf it got a reduced max ammo reserve a m3 mk3 burst significant hip spread increase mk3 burst also got a small decrease to the damage and finally reduced damage when akimbo and mk3 burst mod are both equipped also both the fal and the scar got their ads time decreased these are two weapons which i'd say little or no people use and if you're using it you're basically just doing some challenges maybe to get gold or diamond or whatever it is now i don't i don't do them so i don't really know last time i actually did them was in black ops 2 so that just tells you how how long ago it was i think i had i think i had diamond aors uh, i had diamond smgs uh i think i had diamond lmgs i'm not sure what else i think i might add diamond snipers i'm not really sure i don't really use snipers so I don't really know the lmgs also changed the reload symbol that would come up where you'd be shooting and halfway through the mag it will come up or oh, you have to reel or reload reload even though you don't have to so this has been changed to actually have a bit less in the magazine so it'll tell you to reload then also a change with snipers they reduce the penalty you get when I when or while you're holding your breath for too long now this is probably for warzone also the vlk row got a buff increased rate of fire close damage range for the 12 gauge and increased damage range to the six inch revolt barrel now the biggest buff in this update was to the holger 26 which got an increased movement speed improved ads time slight recoil reduction now this is basically they have to recoil now this is really really good for this weapon and i'll actually say why soon enough and i've only played bits with the holger in warzone but to me then it was a really really good gun and it's going to be one of the guns that'll probably be up there right now and will probably change the current meta of the game the attachments you can put on the holger also got a buff now these are the only only on the holger where the f tac 8.98 inch spitfire barrel improved ads time faster movement and reduced hip 
spread. The XR K ultralight barrel also got one with improved ADS time. The 30 round mags reduced sprint out time, improved ADS time, faster movement and improved hip spread profile. No stock got a buff as well which gives you increased sprint out time, faster movement, reduced hip spread and improved ADS time. The last attachment is the stipple grip tape which got a buff for improved ADS time. Now this is a huge buff to the auger because it might be a weapon to basically use in Warzone and multiplayer and it could literally take over the grow or it could be up there with the grow in some cases. Now also in spec ops there are, there's also modified operations. Some of them have difficulty changes to the previous operations or some of the kind of enemy spawns have changed so there's more enemies spawning now of course there was little bugs as well fixes to them and i actually didn't cover them in this video because it would just take way too long there was a good few of them and nobody really cares about them they kind of just care about the guns and everything like that if there was a huge a glitch that was kind of massive and it was p pissing people off and everything like that like going through the ground or something then i'd probably cover it because it's something that everyone is basically affected by but yeah, that is it. That is it, guys. This is the end of the video. If you did like it, please hit the like button. Right beside the like button, you should see a subscribe button. You can hit that and stay up to date whenever I upload to the channel by hitting the notification bell or whenever I go live on the channel, which would be rare. Speaking of live streams, I live stream weekly, like I said. The link to that will be down in the description below. It is on Twitch. I stream numerous games. I'll be streaming Valorant today. Hopefully for a good while, maybe two or three hours. If you want to see that, link down in the description below. And yeah, that's it guys. Hope you like, favorite, and subscribe. And peace.